Liberty High School head field hockey coach Jill Dorn wants her athletes to be leaders within the Lehigh Valley community. And one of her athletes in particular sets the perfect example. One of the things that we, we really wanted to stress, um, and I'm a big believer in, is community service and getting out into the community. We have a giant district in Bethlehem Area School District. Uh, we have a lot of support, but we have a lot of opportunity for, for kids. CAT epitomizes exactly what you hope your players to do, is get out there, get in the community, be present. Um, the fact that she wants to get into law enforcement shows uh, just how protective she is of where she lives. She wants to be here, and she wants to give back to her community. I think that's one of the ultimate ways to do so. In field hockey, naturally the goalie is the most protective player on the team, and that reigns true for Liberty's goalie, Kat Borda. She's chosen to not only protect Liberty's net, but also protect our country. Um, so all my life growing up, I always wanted to join the military. I always wanted to be a police officer and just looking into that field and throughout my life, I always had a hard time. People always telling me, oh, I couldn't do it because I wasn't strong enough. I was a female, things like that. So the biggest thing for me is I knew I wanted to do it. I just needed to decide which branch and the National Guard kind of gave me the best options and I decided to make my decision in enlisting in March. Um, I'd say several years ago, she mentioned, you know, getting into the military. She, she started originally was Marines. Um, she thought she was going to go the Marine route. And before I knew it, she was speaking with recruiters and ended up going to the National Guard. At first I had my questions, you know, but um, for the most part, it was very supportive. Um, I really didn't have anything. I tried not to be negative about anything, you know. And while mom and the rest of Kat's family supported her to the best of their ability, Kat's teammates wanted to know how their friend was doing. And so they decided while she was at basic training to write her letters. Our, our one assistant, Coach Sutter, uh, was very involved in sending her letters. She would show up with cards uh, congratulating her, and we would all sign it as a team, and she got to reach out to her, so we were all communicating together. Uh, we have a, a group message that we send out, so the first day we heard from her, the kids went crazy because it was the first contact that they had with her. Um, so it was, it was definitely nice to have that communication and that she did reach out to our assistant coach for that as well. It meant a lot. Um, when she left, um, I think I think that was the biggest thing because it was pretty much her main means of communication. Um, phone calls were very limited, so the letters, um, I was so happy that when I found out everybody was writing to her because it was just, you know, if nothing else, to keep her spirits up while she was away. And being away wasn't easy. During basic training, Kat's competitive nature shined as she earned the second highest PT score despite facing some adversity. The males definitely gave me a hard time, you know, being a female and stuff, they didn't like the competition as much coming from a female. Um, that was a big controversy with having the male standards and the female standards, um, them being different. Um, so that definitely gave a hard time. But now that I'm back, I'm going to finish my senior year and then I'm going to go next summer, hopefully down to Virginia, and I'll do my job training for 11 weeks then attend college. It seems Kat has her whole life planned out already, but before she embarks on that long journey, her coach, teammates, and family want her to enjoy her senior season, as it will be her last year in a Canes jersey. This being her senior year, um, it's tough. It's tough to know that, you know, this is going to be her last year here with Liberty. Um, four years, you know, we spent here with Liberty, and um, she even was up here, you know, working out with Liberty as an eighth grader. So, yeah, it's going to be very tough. We, we said in the summertime, not having her was that final. We were just waiting for her to come in to fill in the last puzzle piece of what we were expecting with uh, her, her voice, her leadership in the backfield. Over the course of the last few games that she's been here, I hear her talking in the back, and we're going to need that coming up to this portion of our, of our season. She quoted in the paper she feels inadequate as a player, and I would humbly disagree because she is probably uh, one of the best goalies hands down I've ever had the experience with. So...